So is Brexit actually a blessing in disguise for Scotland? Does it pave the way for a new referendum on independence? Uh, the First Minister has been quite clear about this. The uh, population of Scotland voted overwhelmingly, 62% to 38%, to remain within the EU. So obviously uh, the people of Scotland have spoken. Their position is that they wish to remain within the EU. And obviously the Scottish Government will now be speaking to various governments to look at ways of maintaining that um, journey with the EU as opposed to uh, the journey outside of it. Yeah, and a referendum is very much on the table as one of those options, whatever the, all the other options may be. Scots voted in 2014 to remain in the UK. Are you confident the Leave camp would win this time around? Absolutely. Uh, one of the guarantees of voting no in the last referendum by the UK government was we would remain within the EU. Less than two years later, that same UK is pulling Scotland out of the uh, EU against the Scottish people's will. I would have to say that uh, the same is happening uh, in Northern Ireland, who also voted to remain within the EU. So that's two of the four components of the UK voted to remain, but they're being dragged out against their will. Could you please outline the three main reasons why Scotland should remain within the EU in your mind? Scotland gains an awful lot from the EU in the way of um, social pillars, the social underpinning, the human rights, workers' rights and all those social benefits that underpin and come from the EU. Um, there's also the uh, infrastructure that uh, is funded from EU streams. Now obviously there's not going to be that money coming from the EU so we need to be looking at uh, what is there going to be to replace that and I'll be quite honest I have no confidence that the UK will uh, fill those gaps. <laughs>